Thank you, Chair. Um, this is an issue um, really close to my heart. Um, we've, uh, various members of us have worked together on this before. Um, one of the worst consequences of the skewed and malfunctioning housing market that we have is that we're losing our most important public workers, our teachers, our nurses, our police officers, youth workers, I could just go on forever, um, because private renting is getting so unaffordable. And key worker housing just doesn't seem to exist anymore. I met with the Royal College of Nursing recently. Their research shows about two thirds of their members, not just nurses, but other health workers too, say the cost of housing has made them consider leaving. I've worked on several reports looking at where police live, and that consistently shows about half of police are forced to live outside of London. This is despite Lord Harris's report into the effects this would have on our preparedness for major incidents. So yeah, we've got a real problem here. Um, we, uh, Assemblymember Copley and I, raised a motion on community-led housing in February 2017, asking the Mayor to work with the borough councils, the community-led housing sector, for getting public land towards um, more homes for um, community-led housing people, but also, I suggested at the time, promoting co-ops, community-led housing to exactly these groups of people. Um, at the time, our motion was unanimously supported. This motion makes incredibly good points too. This issue does need to be dealt with. I'm very glad that the Victoria Park estate is mentioned. Um, another issue I've raised with the Mayor on NHS land is the sell-off of Queen Mary's house in Hampstead by the Royal Free Hospital. We can't just see our key workers forced out of London. I'm really supportive of this motion. I hope everyone will vote for it too.